Let's do some exercises to recap what we learned in my previous video about polynomials. Which of the following expressions are polynomials in one variable and which are not? State reasons for your answer. In A we have 3x squared minus 4x plus 5. The coefficients 3 and negative 4 and the constant term 5 are real numbers. And we also have one variable x. The exponents of the variable x are 2 and 1, which are whole numbers. So this is a polynomial. In b we have z squared minus the square root of 3 plus c. Here we have one variable z which has the exponents 2 and 1 and the negative square root of 3 is a real number so this is also a polynomial. In z we have the square root of 2 times x plus 2 times the square root of x. The coefficient of x which is the square root of 2 is a real number. But the variable x can't be under a square root in polynomials. So this is not a polynomial. In D, the 3 is a constant, so this is a polynomial. In E, we have x to the 5th plus x to the 9th plus 1 over x. In this example, we see that the variable x is in the denominator, which is not allowed in polynomials. So this is not a polynomial. And in f we have x cubed, which is a polynomial. In g we have x squared plus x to the negative 2 plus 1. Negative numbers as an exponent are not allowed in polynomials, so this is not a polynomial. In H we have x cubed plus x squared plus y. In this example we have two variables, x and y. But the question is asking for one variable, so this is not a polynomial in one variable. In i we have x squared plus x raised to 1 over 3. 1 over 3 is not a whole number, so this is also not a polynomial. In j we have y squared plus y plus 1. This is a polynomial. In k we have 5x squared plus x raised to 2 over 3. 2 over 3 is not a whole number, so this is not a polynomial. In L we have x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 1. This is a polynomial. Let's look at the next exercise. Give one example each of a binomial of degree 32 and of a monomial of degree 78. Binomial means that we have two terms. So we can write for example x raised to 32 plus 7 and a monomial has one term. So we can write x raised to 78. Let's look at the next examples. Write the coefficients of x squared in each of the following. 
In A we have 5 plus x squared plus x. The coefficient of x squared is 1. If there is no coefficient, the coefficient is always 1. In B we have 3 minus x squared plus x cubed. The coefficient is negative 1. In C, p over 4 times x squared plus x, the coefficient is p over 4. In D, we have the square root of 3 times x squared minus 3. The coefficient of x squared is the square root of 3. In E, we have x squared, which means the coefficient is 1. In F, we have 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus x. The coefficient of x squared is negative 2. Let's look at the next exercise. Write the degree of each of the following polynomials. In A we have x squared plus x cubed plus x. The degree of this polynomial is 3. Because the degree of x squared is 2 and the degree of x is 1. The degree of a polynomial is the degree of the leading term which is x cubed. In B we have x plus 1, the degree of x is 1, and the degree of 1 is 0. So the degree of the entire polynomial is 1. In C we have the constant term 3, which means the degree of the polynomial is 0. Every non-zero number has the degree of 0. In D we have 3x to the 5th plus 5x to the 3rd plus 7. The first term has the degree 5. The second term has the degree 3. And the third term has the degree 0. So the degree of the entire polynomial is 5. In E we have x cubed y to the 7th minus x to the 5th times y to the 9th plus x. Let's see which number is bigger. 3 plus 7 is 10 and 5 plus 9 is 14. So the degree of this polynomial is 14. In f we have x cubed plus x plus x to the 7th. 7 is the exponent with the biggest number. So 7 is the degree of the entire polynomial. Let's look at this exercise. Classify the following as linear, quadratic and cubic polynomials. In A we have x cubed plus x squared plus 3. In this example, we have a cubic polynomial, because the leading term has the exponent 3. In B we have 3x plus 7, which means the exponent of the x is 1. In other words, this is a linear polynomial. In C we have x squared, which is a quadratic polynomial. In D we have x plus 1. The exponent of the x is 1, which means this is a linear polynomial. In E we have x cubed plus 17, the 3 tells us that this is a cubic polynomial.
and in f we have 2x squared plus x. The leading term is 2x squared, which has the exponent 2. So this is a quadratic polynomial. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. This video is what I did for you. If you want to do something for me, hit the bell button, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and happy learning everyone.